The Doctor Who celebration took place in six acres of Longleat Park, Wiltshire, over Easter Sunday and Monday of April 1983. Outside the house, four of the Blackpool models, being the Doctor, the Cyberman, and two Daleks were displayed. There was also the opportunity to have your photograph taken in Bessie. For those fortunate enough to have a ticket, and 35,000 that were sold just for the Sunday alone, tents were erected to display all things Who in origin. The first, the Doctor's tent was the studio set tent. Inside there was the TARDIS console room set. From the story of the Five Doctors, which had only just completed in the studio the previous Thursday, was the Tower Corridor, Gallifrey Conference Room, Game Control Room and the Brigadier's Study. Also, there was the Blue Dalek from the Doctor Who exhibitions of the 1970s. This was recently sold at an auction for over £36,000. The second tent was the BBC Visual Effects Tent. The only things in this tent that were concerned with Doctor Who was K-9 and a blown up Dalek. The third tent was the BBC costume and makeup tent. Inside were Omega's costume and Time Lord costumes from Arkham Infinity, the Master's costume last used in the King's Demons, the Black and White Guardian costume from Season 20. There was also the opportunity for children to try on a cyber helmet or to have their face made up by a Doctor Who makeup artist. The fourth tent was the auction and merchandise tent. Many Doctor Who items were available, including the just released hardback technical manual. Before Bonhams and eBay, this was the first opportunity of fans to purchase actual props and costumes from the series. Tom Baker's first costume was bought by an American builder in the region of £800. A Cyber Leader's helmet from Earthshock sold for £240. A Tomb of the Cybermen costume raised £200, while an Earthshock costume only managed £120. The Book of Sharda sold for £100 on its own. The fifth tent housed the Doctor Who cinema. Sunday showings were the Dalek Invasion of Earth and the Dominators in their entirety. On Monday, fans could be treated to Terror of the Autons, Terror of the Zygons and the Visitation. The photographic area was also laid on, where for a pound you could have a Polaroid picture of you taken with the actual police box from the Doctor Who series and exhibition figures of Davros and his friends. The sixth tent was the forum tent. Over the weekend, John Nathan Turner chaired six question and answer sessions with many of the stars of the series, divided into each of the Doctor's eras. There was the Pertwee years, with John Pertwee, Richard Franklin and John Levine. The Baker years, with Carol Ann Ford, John Leeson, Liz Sladen and Nicholas Courtney. The Troughton years, with Patrick Troughton. The Davidson years, with Peter Davidson, Anthony Ainley, Sarah Sutton, Mark Strickson, Janet Fielding and Valentine Dial. The Nostalgia Years with Heather Hartnell and her daughter, Carol Ann Ford and Nicholas Courtney. And the Baker Years with Tom Baker. For those who couldn't get enough who, the 1983 Longleat Doctor Who exhibition was also open, and entering the Blue Tardis doors took you to many different worlds with displays featuring the Master's Tardis, the Garm from the 20th season Story Terminus, perennial favourites of Daleks and K9, and the Doctor Who Tardis console room. The seventh tent housed a display of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop with many of the equipment and musicians who created both music and sound effects over the 20 years of Doctor Who history present.
The final area was the autograph tent, which allowed fans to obtain autographs of their favourite stars. Also, many of the stars made personal appearances around the exhibition over the weekend.